I'm Kenny, your elite coordinator. You're going to be going through the media circuit today, so doing interviews, taking pictures, headshots, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and go through, and I'll show you guys around. Hey, guys, uh, we just got off the bus at E-League. Got our cool little player badges. Talent badge is actually fancy. We're setting up our player room, Rack Stores Fanatic. Okay. Looks pretty good. Just chilling. Well, we just met with the uh, E-League Commissioner Minsik. Introduced us, said hello. Basically gave us a rundown of the tournament. He said, hey, here are the rules. Here's what's going to happen. Now we're getting ready to either go do press pictures or alternatively, we're going to go set up our stage setups. Leave your things here. This is your space. Are we supposed to get our peripherals to set up on stage now, or is it just media? Just media. OK. All right, so what we're doing right now is we just got done chilling out in the practice room. Uh, I think we're about to go ahead to take pictures. The simultaneously, like, the most fun and, like, the least fun part of the day, I think, because it's like, you know, you're kind of having fun taking pictures, but at the same time, you don't have too much fun, because then you look like an idiot. But you never know. And I don't even know where I'm walking. NRG is here. This place is awesome. Our goal here is two things, have fun with it, and the other thing is to make you look like badasses. Can I take so. my shirt off? <laughs> shirt off? We'll keep the shirt on. Like, I come from a smaller gaming scene where I never even, I've literally never been to a studio. So for me, I was used to tournaments and hotel lobbies, and then I walk up here, I'm just like, hmm, OK, I guess this is uh, real life now. I the tiger, Tim. <laughs> We're going to steal you for your huh? OK. Real quick, thank you. It says it's not an exit, but then this one says exit. Are you going to do an interview? Uh, I guess so. Yes. I guess we're going to the interview. We'll go through the treehouse. Do you want to cut around or no? Sure. Okay. The treehouse? You guys call something here the treehouse? Mm -hmm. Like one of our green rooms. Like right now, I think it's MLB postseason. This yeah. place honestly feels like a maze. Just too many rooms. <laughs> we got people in the building. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, some of the questions here, some are like standard to everyone. Some will be yeah, yeah. Worse. I'm ready for the questions, you see. What you got? Wait, where are we headed to now? Take photos. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Thank you. This but is Siegel. How do you want your name displayed? Oh, Siegel works. Yeah, it's fine. Two L's? Yeah. OK. So chances are, after taking out this questionnaire, okay. which is apparently okay. asked me how I got my nickname. That'll be an interesting one to write down. Uh, I got to go over yonder and take some pictures. So we'll see how that goes. Right. Save me. Eyes at the camera on three. That's what I want. Nice game face. Yeah, I love that. I love that. Yeah, more chest. More cleavage. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last one. Perfect. I hope the pictures turn out OK. I'm a sweaty mess. <laughs> We're following her for tips and tricks video now. They're making us do more things. And by us, I mean me. All right, guys. Just got finished doing a tips and tricks video. Did some filthy things to a tracer. I think that wraps it up for the day. Did lots of media stuff, lots of photos. Dear God, lots of videos, some fun to action. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. This is where I walk awkwardly out of frame and I keep going. I'm not stopping. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>
I feel like Envy still has the advantage here, though. Envy has to be feeling a little bit rattled. Misfits now has them on match point. For those who are looking at the top of the screen, if Misfits is able to win a third map, that is it. They are the champions, so all the pressure in the world now on Envious. And you see, kicking things off, we're going to be jumping on board with Taimu, and he's going to put some good damage down on the enemy Winston Rib going to drop first, but look at the kill feed. It's going to have two in favor of Misfits. So you see the point at the beginning does not unlock right away. It gives the teams an opportunity to engage before that point opens up. And albeit that Envy got that first pick there, drawing first blood, Misfits gets the point. Misfits in a great position here, and no small part to the Soon. Soon was able to get to the Envy backline immediately. Tracer, a very fast character, able to be evasive, was able to get a quick pick off, and Envious not able to recover. However, here comes Envy. Internet Hawk leading the way, using Winston to charge in, but while that happens, Edan able to take down Tailspin. It's 5v5 right now, but here comes Taimu, a hook taking down Rib. Internet Hawk with the cleanup, and Envy starting to take control of this fight. Yeah, Soon just trying to stay alive, but so much pressure coming in from Envy. You see the effects of the Ana Grenade there, soon not able to get any types of healing. He's gonna go back in, give up his life, just trying to contest for a little bit more. Misfits gets 32% there on the initial hold. Envy though with a break. We see Chips trying to put down some shots at range here with Anna, trying to build towards that nano boost. And I know Roadhog is a fantastic target to build up ult charge with. You know, he has such a large health pool, be able to get so much healing done on him. And you see an overhead view. It's going to be crew on the point for Misfits, so just trying to force Envy back. And Envy's going to give this one up here, but now it's going to be Misfits trying to stay alive. Rib going oh. by the knocks one off the map quickly, though, taken out by Coco, but you see Winston on this map could be so effective knocking players off. Oh, see you later, way. Coco. Misfits picking up the kills they need to hold on. And now at 50%, halfway to taking this first point. Oh my goodness, and that is the power of Winston's ultimate primal rage. It lets you knock back enemies, and Ana, of course, went for the ride. However, Envious coming right back in. Coco does have Graviton Surge at the ready. Nano. Chips has a Nano Boost, and here comes Envy rolling right in. Coco waiting for the opportunity to drop this Vortex, but take a look, it's two quick kills, and Envy might not even need to burn this very key ultimate here because of the quick pickoffs that they got. Yeah, you see, actually, that's 60. That is the charge that Coco has on Zarya. No, as the more damage he protects with those shields, the more energy he gets in that particle cannon, which means the more damage he puts out on the attack. So when Zarya gets charged up, she can be pretty powerful. And just to remind people at home, the series overall 2-1, it is a best of five. If Misfits wins this, they are your champion. Envy needs to win it to stay alive. And control points, it is a best of five as well. So this is the first point on this map. You see Coco dropping down the Graviton. The Pulse Bomb comes in. Tailspin with one, Taimu with another. And here comes the Transcendence out of Heat. And it is not good enough, though. Tailspin and Co for Envy picking up the kills. And some ultimates burn there from Misfits. But bear in mind, Envy is still under the gun right now. They're at 54%. Misfits is at 79%, which means that if Misfits is able to retake this point with a decisive fight, they're very likely to take this. But Taimu opening up with the hook. But you look at that. Reaper able to be saved by the Zarya. Graviton Surge coming out here from the side of Misfits. Nevix looking to set things up. Harry Hook, a casualty. Two kills coming in. And Taimu trying to bring it back. Envy striking back. Tailspin in the back line as he picks up two. And Misfits might not be taking this. Yeah, now Misfits going to drop a sound barrier, though. They're going to keep themselves alive for a bit, a little bit longer. Taimu is actually going to drop at the hands of Soon. So just like that, it's starting to turn in Misfits' favor. Misfits from the play of Soon able to strike it right back. That was very close back and forth. There was a point in the beginning where it looked like Misfits was going to take it. The point where Envy turned it around and then Misfits still came back in the end. And now at 88%, if they can just get one or two more kills, they will take this round. However, Nevix overextending ends up getting picked off. A 65 now in favor of Envy as Internet Hulk leads the charge, but he's punished. It's 5v5. The Graviton is in. Tailspin moving over and Envy starting to turn it back once more. Yeah, and Envy needs to get on the point here. It's going to be Misfits with 99%. You see Crew, the last one alive, just trying to weave his way throughout the members of Envy. As soon as he comes out of Wraith Form, he will fall. And Envy 
now starting to make a comeback here, ZP. It's all going to come down to this last push here for Misfits. And the thing is, for this last push, Misfits is not going to have the position they need. They have to get on top of this play immediately, the force overtime, and it's going to be Rib diving to the back. Envious all over him. They immediately dispatch him. A 5v6 now for Misfits. It's rough odds. We'll soon be able to turn it. Tailspin on the back line, onto Nevix. And soon, he's on the time, but it's not over yet. We'll soon be the hero once more. He's darting around with crew. Misfits still fighting here, but Internet Hulk rolling around the Primal Rage Unleash. Crew, though, the Death Blossom still hanging in. Crew and Soon have just did an unbelievable job of staying alive so long enough that Rim is able to come off the spawn and jump right back into the mix. Just trying to stay alive for as long as possible. Needs to stay in there. You see big Zarya bubbles coming down, keeping him alive. Nemix comes into the point. Now it's going to be Rib going Primal Rage, trying to knock players from Envy off the side of the map. Winston's one main ability there with his ultimate, able to knock players back. Crew with two in the feed, 99-99. Whoever gets control here, ZP, oh. will win this first point. Rib with authority, jumps right in, lands the melee, and it's gonna be Misfits! They strike first blood, they get the first round, and Envious now two rounds away from potentially being eliminated. And you look over at some of the faces from Team Envious, they are absolutely stunned. Misfits feeling really good about the way they've been playing. Internet Hulk and Envy still ZP, just searching for answers. They come in. No, a lot of people saying they're the best team in Overwatch in the world, not just in North America. This would be a huge loss for them as they're trying to claim their first major championship victory here. Now, let's see, some of the tweets coming in. Some of you guys talking about this on social media. I know this is the map that Rogue eliminated Envy on Gamescom. So that's a little bit of an interesting tidbit of information. Can Misfits do it as well? And the key thing though for Misfits, on the other end of the story, this would be truly the ultimate Cinderella story given the replacements, given their trouble. But right now, they're coming in strong and in a great position. However, to start off this fight, Chips on the heat end. It's already 65 for Envy. Envy uh, holding strong despite all the cleave damage going their way from that Winston. Yeah, and Chips going to pick up too early. Taimu with connecting with a Hawk and just look at Envy assert their dominance, push straight through Misfits and onto the point. And this has been Envy historically in these maps that we've seen here tonight where on control maps are able to take the point first most of the time, but it's Misfits who are able to come back and really turn it back in their favor. They're not able to be counted out, and we'll see what they do here. Soon, of course, though, is going to be building up a pulse bomb in just a moment. He's going right to the back line. Yeah, and you're gonna see Tailspin start to dart in with Tracer. He's gonna put down a lot of nice damage. A sound barrier comes in for Envy. Hidan on Zenyatta, able to pick up one, but the kills are starting to go in Envy's favor. And I did mention that Hidan is on Zenyatta. It's gonna be Misfits not going to be running an Ana. So what does Zenyatta bring to the team? What Zenyatta brings to the team is great healing on teammates and big focus fire for your DPS. He can throw down that Discord orb and anyone can hit them and do 30% more damage. He effectively marks targets for your team. However, it hasn't worked out so well here. Coco with the Graviton pulling in three members of the Misfits as Envy just rolls in. It's Chiptogen with the double kill and things going from bad to worse right now for this Misfit squad. Slowly running out of chances here on the Lijong Sanctum. Oh, it is a disaster right now for Misfits. They cannot get anything going as a team, ZP. They try and group up and push through Envy, but right there, the Graviton Surge of Coco sucks them up into that black hole, and Envy's just able to unload a ton of damage. And now we're going to see Misfits trying to push through the whole Ha coming in from Envy, and they're also going to have Internet Hulk diving in there on Winston. You see Rib just needs to put so much focus trying to take out Tailspin. It's gonna be Hidan finally able to accomplish that goal. Rib's gonna go Primal Rage, trying to knock everybody back from Envy, and this is working out for Misfits, ZP. They're gonna be able to get the point. Misfits has cracked the code. They will be taking this point and take a look at their ultimate war chest. Sue, Nevix, and crew all powered up here for the next fight. Envy almost certainly gonna have to give up the next fight as well just because of that power difference. Might be able to go with the sound barrier, but it would be risky. If they only used the sound barrier and it failed, that would be a bad use of resources. Yeah, and Crew is going to drop down, has that Death Blossom. He's gonna be quickly put to sleep though. Needs the Wraith form out of there, and when Reaper is in that way, he cannot be dealt damage, but it does not matter. As soon as he comes out, Taimu connects with yet another hook on Roadhog. Taimu has been so effective on that hero throughout the Grand Finals. See Internet Hulk there, he's going to get the Nano Boost. 
for Envy, and it's going to be Tailspin and Internet Hulk unloading damage on Nevix. Not for long before he's taken out, but this fight is pretty even, ZP. It's going to be Misfits picking up some kills. They're holding on strong. Misfits able to turn that back to their advantage despite the early pickup from Taimu, in no small part due to the heroics from soon later into the fight. Misfits holding on, and remember, if Misfits loses one more fight here, they will lose the point and they will lose the round as Envious is at 91%. Yeah, and it's Misfits climbing back. They are now at 55%. Can they do it yet again? It's been such a magical journey for them. Just feel like it's almost destiny here. ZP is soon putting down some shots. Here comes Internet Hulk for Envy on Winston. You see him dive right in to the opponent's back line. The Pulse Bomb soon comes out. Not able to get one with it. Whole Hog of Envy also being used here. So Envy investing a lot into the fight. Envy is investing a lot, but they are getting pushed back at the same time. Late Sound Bear out here for Misfits as soon. Once more in the backfield. We've seen this cleanup before. Are we going to see it again? Envy still with a big advantage right now. Soon in the 1v2. Not going to be able to hold it. And Envious, they're going to recap this. 92%. I'm not sure if Misfits has anyone left to actually force an overtime here. And at their best, Misfits has one attempt here to force OT. It's going to be Crew trying to come in. Uses that Death Blossom. Able to get one. A fantastic Zarya bubble to keep him alive there from Nevix, and now Crew and Co. need to get the point back. If they are knocked off, Envy will take this second point. You see Internet Hulk, Nano boosted up with that Primal Rage. He comes out of that, but still doing a ton of damage to multiple targets. Envy a bit collapsing here. They were in a huge advantage, but it's soon coming back in off of the Graviton from Nevix, setting up the kills here for Misfits, and Misfits is fighting. They are not going down easily here as another Pulse Bomb comes off. Soon still in and about on this point. It's soon versus Tailspin right now. Oh, and Soon needs to get back on oh, it. No. He gets off. And oh, no. The side of Misfits gives away that first point. They fought back for so long. And right there, to keep overtime going, for some of you new viewers, you need to stay on the point. So right there, when Soon darts off, that meter at the top that keeps track of overtime goes all the way to the bottom, and Envy takes the point. That is a bit heartbreaking there for Misfits, but remember, they still have a buffer here. It is a best of five on these control point maps. Both teams striking at each other, one the one. It is any team's map, and remember, if Misfits is able to take this map, that will be it. They will be your champions, so pretty much everything matters right now to Envious. Yeah, and momentum does change here in eSports, uh, just like regular sports. Best momentum swing play of all time, David Tyree with an incredible catch. The Giants able to take out the Patriots there in the Super Bowl. Maybe you have that no is the idea. How, my father is watching. That hurts, man. He's from Boston. Uh, don't let me. Don't let me get into my speech about how Eli Manning is the greatest quarterback of all time. Oh my. Maybe goodness. a little biased there. I'm a Giants fan. Crew though, able to get a first pick there for the side of Misfits. Taimu connects with a hook. So you see Envy. They're stalled out a little bit here on the bridge cp it's a very difficult spot to get caught in you see soon flying in using that pulse bomb it is not good for envy you need to get past that vital choke point they do need to get past the vital choke point and the worst part here for envy is that this is one of the harder maps to get back into the defense when you are holding on this control point can hold a little bit further up they can knock you off the bridge they can get you in really tough control points so envy going to have to work on this but you take a look at misfits for the next fight they do have the graviton up and a transcendent so they are well stocked to take out envy once more yeah and look for heat and use that transcendence when the pressure from envy comes in to keep all of his teammates alive during the fight you see it right there zinyana's ultimate ability puts a great use it keeps the side of misfits alive they're able to pick up two kills during that team fight misfits holding strong here they do have to use the ultimates to hold on but for now it's working out envy they're gonna have to stock that war chest internet hulk though he is one to watch here he is going to have primal rage up and this is a map where you can go flying right off the sides and he is a master of doing this as he's gonna roll right in yeah and we see many eclipses on twitter and reddit where you're just knock players off the map with the primal rage you see trinus in sorry and fly and nevix holding on for his life He's going for a ride as he's going to fall off the side of the map. And Envy trying to push their way onto the point. You see Heedan oh. doing his best. A swift kick to the mouth there on the internet. Hulk drops him and crew looking for players. It is still Misfits in control of this point, ZP. 
Misfits still holding on, even if they're on the losing end, so long as they keep st stay on the point, Envious is not going to be able to recapture it. However, they are washing over Misfits like a wave right now. Two big hooks have time moves, setting himself up, and Misfits going to have to concede the point for now, but at 79%, they are very well positioned. A lot of damage done for Misfits, and I gotta give a shout out to both of their support players, Hida and Zeb, just timing their ultimate ability so well. That is why Misfits is lasting so long in these fights. Misfits, their team coordination is second to none. And when you combine that, the star power of soon, it's been great. But here they go. The Graviton coming in from Nevix. But the sound barrier from Envious keeping them alive during most of it. However, it's true into the back line. The Death Blossom taking out one, setting up soon for another kill. And Misfits on the verge of taking this back once more. And this is going to leave Envious with their final attempt to retake it. Yeah, and Hidan with those Discord orbs of Zenyatta, he's able to place them onto targets. And when the target has that Discord orb, they take 30% more damage, and that allows Crew and Soon to just run through opponents. Taimu gonna switch over to McCree here. They need to figure out a way to break Envy. He's quickly taken out though by Hina. You see the power of Zenyatta, a support who can do tons of damage. All the kills here going in favor of Misfits. They just need to pick up one more to stay alive here and take this point. Harry Hook falls to his death. And ZP, Misfits are one point away from taking the Grand Finals. Misfits is right where they want to be. Envious, they are out of mulligans. They are out of extra lives. If they fall in the next round, that will be it. They will only take second place, and Misfits will be your champions. This is truly do or die. So all the pressure on Team Envious. They come in with all the hype. They are the fan favorites. You expected them to win. They find themselves in the Grand Finals down 2-1 in maps, 2-1 in rounds here on Li Zhang Tower. Misfits one round away from completing their journey through the EU side of the bracket and into the Grand Finals with a victory. See if Envy can muster something up here to keep their tournament hopes alive. Well, the all-important first fight is about to be underway. Tailspin looking to get to the back line, immediately fighting with Soon. Both Tracers so key to their teams. And here we go. Rib leaping right into Taimu, going to get dispatched immediately. Envy starting out strong once more. Two kills to one in their favor as Taimu. Full HP going to the Misfits back line. Supported by his team, but it's Nevix and Zebosai moving around the opposite flank. They avoid Taimu and do serious damage to Envy. And Envy holding on in this first fight. Barely. Yeah, Taimu's actually going to drop, but oh. you see the point. Everybody there for Misfits, they're able to pick up the kills. And something that you saw Envy do there is they let Rib jump in on Winston. And what they do is they have Chips drop down that Ana Grenade, amplifies the healing of Lucio, and that is Harry Hawk. He's able to you know, boost up his healing abilities. He gains his ult a little bit faster, but Envy not able to sustain through those fights. Here we go. The gr the Nano Boost is out. Envy rolling in once more. Tailspin taking out Nevix pretty early on. Time move, of course, with that Nano Boost. Doing damage to the back line. Gonna pick up the double kill. And Envy, with a swift strike back, will be controlling this point. And they are not going quietly into that good night. And you just see just the moments of brilliance from Envy with their backs against the wall. And Misfits in control of the point. They get a fantastic break there. The side of Misfits, you do have Zeb with that sound barrier, that Lucio ultimate that gives that extra shield to your teammates. Look to see him use that, then apply that speed boost and fly into the point. But Taimu has something to say about that, has the Death Blossom from above. The sound barrier comes in, so he's going to work down some of those shields before using that ult. However, his team is dying all around him. He has not been able to get anything done. It's three quick kills here from Misfits. Misfits, their ult bank is stocked, and they might not even have to use it here as they are going to clear out Envy and get the progress going once more. They are certainly going to be over 50% after in just a moment, and Envious finding their tournament life starting to drain away. And I feel we're at such a pivotal point in the game, ZP. You see the side of Misfits just taking the aggression to Envy. In the last few moments here of this game, do you think Envy needs to change anything up? I don't think Envy's gonna change anything right now. They're gonna have to ride this horse till the end. They do have four ults up, but so is Misfits. This game, this series, the tournament might come down to one ult showdown right here, right now. Misfits opening up with the Graviton. Soon to the back line, Pulse Bomb out. Taimu to the back line of Misfits though, taking out three. It's Taimu with the heroics, but Misfits not out of here just yet. It is back and forth right now, X. Yeah, and you see Soon picking up two big kills. He's trying to dart behind enemy lines. Misfits so close to being your champions here at the E-League Open, put on by Blizzard E-League and face it. Now you see it.
going to be Heedan with that Transcendence. Look to see if any ultimates come in from Envy. He pop that and keep his teammates alive. Crew right now could end this for Misfits. Going to be looking to get to back on the Death Boss if they win this fight. That would be it. Misfits on the verge of winning it all. Crew to the back line. Death Boss up, takes a near and help. But Taimu, the counter, moving right in. Envy is literally fighting for their lives. The Graviton comes out, but the bomb from Soon! That's a triple kill for Misfits. 98% right now, X. If the Tracer is knocked off, Misfits will take it. They're almost there. They have done it. Misfits has won it all. the stunned look there on Internet Hulk from Envy. Such a tremendous story this Misfits team is, ZP. They're able to come in here, defy all odds, and win your E-League Face It Blizzard Overwatch Open Championship. You can't say enough positive things about these guys. It is such an incredible story. Sure, the Juggernaut has fallen, Goliath has beaten David, but for Misfits, a team that faced such adversity, a team that had the rebuild before coming out here to Atlanta, what a performance to take down the favorites. Uh, and they just seem stunned, just riding off of just pure adrenaline throughout the tournament. They come through the EU side of the bracket. Nobody expected them to be there. They expected teams like Reunited Rogue to make it all the way through. You see the sportsmanship there from Envy, gracious in defeat. Such a tough loss for those guys. They have worked so hard. Just a very talented team. Could not get it done here on the biggest stage, though. Misfits with an unbelievable performance. Oh, man. Just a crazy Cinderella story. They have come through, defying all odds. We have Malik, actually, who will be on stage with our winners with an interview shortly. Yes.